Let's determine the nature of this uh, given differential equation. That is, uh, we have xy cubed times dy by dx quantity squared plus x squared y plus dy by dx equals 0. So it's basically finding the order, degree, and type of this differential equation, which describes the nature of the given differential equation. So first, uh, let's determine the order of this uh, differential equation. Remember that the uh, order is the highest ordered derivative present in the differential equation. So this, uh, this is one because uh, this dy by dx is the first order uh, derivative. And here also we have dy by dx quantity squared. But uh, this is a first order uh, uh, derivative. So we see that the order of this or the highest order, uh, highest derivative of this differential equation is 1. So we see that the order is 1. Now let's determine the degree of this uh, differential equation. The degree is the highest power of the uh, order of that uh, differential equation. So in this, the order is uh, 1. Uh, so we look at only at this uh, derivative, the first order derivative. And the highest power of this first order derivative is 2 because we see that the power is 2. So therefore, we say that the degree of this uh, differential equation is 2. Now let's determine the type of this uh, differential equation. So basically, whether we are determining uh, if it is a linear or non-linear differential equation. Uh, the condition that must uh, satisfy for a linear differential equation is that is uh, it must be of the uh, power of 1. That is it uh, it has to be the power of 1. The, uh, the order derivative has to be the power of the 1. Plus uh, we can also write down the simple linear differential equation. This is uh, one form of the linear differential equation. So usually it will be in the form of dy by dx plus py equals q where p and q are functions of x. So if uh, the order or the power of the derivative is uh, not 1, if the power is not 1, then it is nonlinear differential equation. So when we look at this uh, differential equation, we see that uh, the derivative uh, dy by dx, the power of this derivative is 2. So clearly it is not 1. So we see that it is a nonlinear differential equation. And this means uh, it is uh, first order, second degree, and nonlinear. So we choose this option. So B option is correct. First order, second degree, nonlinear differential equation.